School district is preparing its staff to help students and break records at the same time. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes shows us how they are stopping the bleed 800 deep. It's important to us to have everyone trained. We should be the largest training in the state of Georgia. Move over, Monroe County Schools. We are training every staff member in our district. Baldwin County is now the leader in the number of people training to stop the bleed. The state record, I believe, is only 400, and I think we beat that just in our morning training. It's a nationwide campaign. Funding from this comes through uh, our legislature in, in Georgia. Its goal is training anyone who participates how to provide immediate medical attention for excessive blood loss. Incidences where emergency help is on the way, but it's going to take several minutes to arrive. When it comes to saving a life or stopping the bleed, speed is the name of the game. One of the techniques that Baldwin County school officials and employees learned was how to apply a tourniquet in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> There you have it. I'll be the first one to say it's a lot harder than it looks, but not impossible for school officials here. From bus drivers to maintenance to teachers to administrators, cafeteria workers, it's important to us because you never know where you may be in the time of an emergency. Whether it's the threat of a mass shooting or a simple accident, they want all employees ready to respond. The majority of tra traumatic injuries um, that result in death the death is directly caused by loss of blood. And ready to stop the bleed for any student who's in need. In Milledgeville, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News. During the training, staff members learn that it only takes three to five minutes for a person to die from excessive blood loss.